Today's journey leads us beyond space, beyond imagination, and deep into the nature of time itself. Time, as we commonly perceive it, is not a straight arrow, but a dimension, much like space. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, time is elastic. It stretches and contracts depending on speed and gravity. The faster one moves, or the stronger the gravitational field, the slower time flows. This has already been proven through atomic clock experiments in satellites and even on airplanes. Time passes slightly faster on high altitudes than on the surface of the Earth. And near massive objects, like black holes, time moves significantly slower. This isn't science fiction, it's measurable fact. In theory, this makes one-way time travel to the future already possible, and it's happening constantly for astronauts aboard the International Space Station by a few milliseconds. But for true time travel, especially to the past, physics presents immense challenges. Some of the most advanced theories suggest that time loops, or closed time-like curves, could exist under specific cosmic conditions. These loops could theoretically be created through stable wormholes, shortcuts in space-time that might connect different temporal or spatial points. Kip Thorne, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist, demonstrated mathematically how such wormholes could work, provided they are held open by exotic matter, a still hypothetical substance with negative energy density. In the next decades, advances in quantum computing and space-time simulation may allow us to better understand these phenomena. Institutions like the Perimeter Institute in Canada and the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics are at the forefront of such explorations. As quantum gravity theories evolve, they may eventually merge general relativity with quantum mechanics into a unified framework giving us a deeper grasp of time as a physical structure that might be manipulated. Our galaxy itself adds another fascinating layer. The Milky Way is not a flat plane, but a complex gravitational system in motion. Time does not flow uniformly across it. At the edge of the galaxy, where gravitational influence is weaker, time flows faster than near the dense center. This implies that, from a galactic perspective, simultaneity is relative. Two events happening now in different regions of the Milky Way might not be truly simultaneous when measured precisely. In a distant future, perhaps in the span of 300 to 500 years, time travel could become a field of applied space-time engineering. Advanced civilizations might create artificially stabilized wormholes controlled by quantum fields or particle accelerators larger than anything we can currently imagine. These gateways could function not like traditional machines, but more like transit stations through space-time. A traveler might not step into a vehicle, but into a chamber that temporarily isolates and redirects their presence through a higher dimensional shortcut. Such a chamber would likely require enormous amounts of energy, far beyond what current technologies can produce. The energy equivalent of a small star might be necessary to bend space-time enough for a stable portal. Future societies may solve this by harnessing dark energy or the rotational energy of black holes, using controlled singularities to generate the required space-time curvature. Time travel would not be like in movies. It might involve massive space structures orbiting neutron stars or black holes, where gravitational manipulation is most effective. These facilities could resemble space stations larger than cities, equipped with layered shielding against temporal and spatial distortions. Travel through time could be limited to specific temporal coordinates, chosen based on safe entry and exit conditions within the space-time fabric. It is also possible that only data, not matter, will be sent through time. In this case, civilizations might be able to send messages to the past or retrieve information from the future, opening entirely new ways of communication across eras. Such a development would transform not just science, but culture, ethics, and our entire sense of history. Whatever the form, time travel will never be trivial. It will demand precision, caution, and an entirely new understanding of causality. But just as we once thought flying was impossible, 
or that the moon was forever out of reach, the challenge of time may one day be overcome. The future, as always, begins in the mind. And perhaps in the heart of a galaxy where time itself flows like a river with bends and currents, humanity will one day learn to sail it. <laughs> <laughs>